Thanks, everyone. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to present this uh, paper that has come out in January this year. Uh, the title of the paper is uh, the Inspire Data Hub, a Pan-African Integrated Suite of Services for Harmonizing Longitudinal Population Health Data Using the Odyssey Tools. So uh, Inspire Network, uh, Network came up sometime in the year 2020, and uh, we have been working on harmonizing data from uh, the end of 2020. And this paper actually portrays what we have done from the end of 2020 till around mid of 2023, uh, setting up the infrastructure and uh, the and mapping uh, various uh, source data into a mob CDM. So in this paper, we have just taken one of the case studies that we have uh, mapped. So uh, uh, the objective of this uh, paper was to set up, uh, well, was to you know, uh, give the details of the process that we have used to set up a pan-African uh, fair research architecture and infrastructure through a cloud-based platform as a service and on-premise setup aims to enhance the discovery integration and analysis of clinical population-based surveys and other health data. So uh, the problem that we uh, discussed in this paper was um, the population health data integration in LMICs. So we know that data lies in different silos and uh, the data is often not integrated into a common standard, thereby making it difficult for uh, analysis. Uh, and this, uh, this difficulty in integration led to uh, the problems in generation of uh, actionable insights uh, leading to uh, not very good informed policy and decision making, and there was no common platform for a data analysis. So as a solution, this paper suggested a pan-African platform, which helps to uh, harmonize longitudinal population health data to the AMOP standards, uh, in, in, uh, uh, addresses the issues of data integration with the uh, FAIR principles. So what is this uh, platform? So Inspire Data Hub includes uh, key components such as the virtualization guard, uh, cloud computing, and OMOP CDM. So these are the three main components that we built into this uh, platform. Uh, then uh, working in the platform, uh, it employs data mapping and migration techniques to ensure seamless data flow from the source to OMOP CDM. And uh, lastly, the aim is to promote a federated research network for uh, collaborative research within the Inspire network and outside in the uh, low and middle income countries. So uh, the uh, Inspire Data Hub overall architecture is something like we have uh, two sets of uh, servers. Uh, one is uh, at the data producer level and uh, the other is the, uh, the regional hub. So uh, at the uh, central level, the data is uh, mapped, or data is you know, profiled, cleaned, and uh, mapped to the AMOP CDM. And at the regional hub also, uh, we have a similar setup, uh, which can be replicated in the regional hubs, thereby trying to create a federated uh, environment. So uh, the case study that we have taken was uh, converting the health and demographic surveillance data, the HDSS data, which is a longitudinal population survey. So what type of data included is that uh, we have a dynamic cohort where uh, people enter through the initial census and thereafter population is followed for their birth and in migration into the census. So this is how people come into the cohort and then we have the death and the out migration. So this is how the people go out of the cohorts. So uh, this uh, data is a longitudinal population data where we have uh, these six uh, events. And uh, in this case study, we have taken data from the uh, Nairobi Urban HDSS, uh, the Tanzania's Kisisa HDSS, and the uh, Africa Health and Health Research Institute's uh, HDSS. So this was the source data that uh, we had in our uh, database. And uh, the objective was to, 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 to migrate this data into a MOP CDM. Uh, 
So what we did is uh, we already have the data in a set standard, which is in-depth core micro data set. And using a white rabbit, uh, we did a data profiling. And then with the help of Usagi, we did a lot of data mapping. And with help of our rabbit and a hat, we did the designing of uh, the ETL. The ETL was processed and pushed into an OMOP, Odyssey, uh, OMOP database, and then used the other Odyssey tools like the data quality dashboard, uh, the, the, the Achilles and Atlas for uh, viewing the results. So this is how it was done. Uh, we had the source in-depth core metadata and using uh, White Rabbit, it was mapped into OMOP uh, CDM version 5.4. And then the mapping was translated into an implementation into an ETL using uh, Pentaho data integration tool, uh, where we have actually extracted, transformed, and loaded the data into uh, OMOP CDM. So here we see we have done the extraction. Uh, we have loaded the data into a staging for uh, for all the necessary transformations that we needed, uh, then created the OMOP uh, tables in our uh, database, and then lastly loaded the uh, data set into the OMOP uh, CDM. So uh, this is how the population uh, looked like. So this is a crude birth rate and the crude death rate before the migration. And this is what it looked like after the migration. So you can see that the shape of the graphs are very similar. Which, uh, which tells us about the success of the uh, migration with a minimal or zero data loss. Uh, as a result, uh, I mean, the result is uh, we have uh, generated the data quality dashboard from uh, Desi. So this is the results we can see, and this is just a screenshot of the uh, output from Atlas where we could see the population concentration with the different distribution like male, female, and other uh, attributes. So conclusion, so how the Data Hub is bridging the gap between the uh, data integration and the lack of data integration is Inspire Data Hub has significantly contributed to data harmonization and, and research in the LMICs, especially in the Inspire network. People are now very interested, people know the importance of data standardization and a standard called the OMOP CDM. So people are quite happy, encouraged, and are uh, you know, learning towards uh, and are leaning towards this. Uh, it addresses the current gap in generating evidence for policy and decision making in these regions and ongoing and future efforts aim to expand the data hub and incorporate more data sets and analytical uh, capabilities. We are now working with different data sets like the COVID, the HIV, and uh, mental health, uh, putting those into uh, a mob CDM. So that's the end of it. Uh, thank you.